Two weeks ago, my plan was to build the fifth building for this wild western town, but I ended up making a steam engine instead. I still wanted to make that fifth building, so that is what I did this week. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. This week I decided to turn this little cowboy into a gunslinging monster hunting preacher. And of course I also had to build him a chapel that he could run his ministry out of. I used a sheet of balsa wood to make the walls. I cut out two rectangles for the side walls and two home plates for the front and the back wall. I found this cool styrene in a fun design that I cut up and used as the windows. I added four windows to each of the side walls, but before doing that I added some panel lines and some texture with a wire brush. After the windows were on, I cut up some thin pieces of balsa to make a frame. One of my patrons pointed out that the styrene kind of looks like iron bars, so we will just say that that is to keep the monsters out. Or the congregation in. I then cut out a door from the front of the church. I also added some windows on the sides and a frame around the door. I built a portico off camera and glued that above the door and then I glued all the walls together. I also made a front porch and some columns and I made a roof by taking two more large rectangles and carving off one side of each at a 45 degree angle and I glued those together on top of the ridge pole and that was the main structure done. If this is a church, then this is the steeple. You will not be able to open the doors and see all the people, but I did put some shingles on the roof. I made the shingles by cutting up some thin strips of cardboard and slicing little lines all the way down. I started by gluing it at the bottom of the roof and working my way up to the ridge. And it turned out a little bit uneven, but I would imagine that this little country church does not have a huge budget for roof repairs. I then finished up the belfry and was trying to figure out what to put in here. I had some awesome suggestions from my patrons, and I was initially going to try and make a PA system uh, with some speakers, but I ended up really liking the look of this little rocket launcher exhaust as a bell. It's got a unique but also classic look to it. If I ever want to swap it out, I can. But that was the main building done, and then it was time to add some more of the smaller details. I glued more of that styrene together to create a little fence to go around the graveyards. I added one to either side of the church because I felt like one was just a little too small. Used some styrofoam, cut it up into a little gravestones. I used some PVA glue to stick those in place. Then I started adding some more greeblies, including antennas and some bent guitar string and brass rods to the outside to connect various details together. After the details were on, it was time to cover the foam with some Mod Podge to protect it from the spray paint. I get asked why I add paint to Mod Podge is so that you can see where you're putting it. Also, if you put too light of a color like I did this time, it's also very hard to see if you have full coverage, so use a darker paint. After that had dried, I took it outside and primed it, as well as the preacher, and it was time to start painting. I painted on the base coat for the building and for the ground, and then I started painting on the colors of the little details. I made sure to pick some nice vibrant colors so that these details would stand out against the otherwise muted tones of the building. I layered on some dry brushing and some other weathering to the building. Once that was done, it was time to move on to the ground. I then applied a watered down PVA glue 
spread that out with a brush into all the hard to reach places, and I sprinkled on the sand. This is the same way that I have based all of the buildings in this town, so I can mix and match them and they are all consistent. I also darkened the color of the dirt inside the graveyard, I felt like that would fit a little better. Applied a little bit of dry grass, and that was the church done. Then it was time to paint the preacher. I gave him all black clothing, including a black hat and some shiny black boots. Everything was black except for his white collar and the straps around his chest. I like to think that this preacher moved out west to win souls and proselytize and realized very quickly that he also had to learn how to use a gun. Imagine that in the wild imaginary west, he deals with the depravity of man and of monsters on a regular basis. After he was painted, the last thing to do was to put him in place, and I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am really enjoying the way that this western town is shaping up. I do plan on doing quite a few more of these till I have a fully developed town. If you have any other suggestions as to what I should build, let me know in the comments. Thank you to all of my patrons, as always, for your continued support of this channel. I appreciate you all very much. Have an awesome week, everyone. See you next time.